Taylor here with Spray Drones. We just got to see these drones spray pecan trees in Oklahoma's largest pecan grove. The farmer doing this is an expert at raising pecans and protecting them. I think it's a fantastic use for the technology. I think it's really found its home here. But I'm gonna let him do the explaining because he's the expert. My name is Chad Selman. Uh, I own Selman Farms LLC. We're located and based in Skytook, Oklahoma. We are the largest producer in Oklahoma of pecans. Uh, we farm about 4,000 acres and we're also probably the largest native grower in the U.S. We probably harvest somewhere close to about 3 million pounds the next decent year we have. Uh, so we're, we're, we do it quite a bit, uh, work hard at it, uh, enjoy it. After I graduated college, I worked for my dad and managed his operation uh, for about four years. And then he kind of started stepping back. And then about 13 years ago, he retired completely, got out. Uh, I took over his operation. And then also I was getting leases at the same time as managing his. I was getting my own leases also. In the last two years, we've probably three years, we've grown about 1,500 acres. Natives, the main thing that we're spraying the most is for bugs. So we're, we're spraying for what's called pecan case bear, uh, and that's what we're doing today. Uh, so I got some ground rigs running right now. I got four ground rigs running, and then we started this drone yesterday. We <laughs> started spraying with the drone, and uh, so that's been a good learning curve. We're learning a lot about it, getting better at it, uh, and I am impressed with it. My ground rigs, uh, ground rigs or air blast sprayers can only cover, you know, maybe at best a couple hundred acres a day. Uh, and so we can't cover the amount of ground I need to and the amount of time I need to with the insecticides and especially when, come, when it comes to weevils. I need it done and entire 4,000 acres done in five days. So I've been hiring a plane. Uh, the coverage is kind of iffy. I think really a lot of it depends on your pilot. I've used a helicopter before and it works pretty good. It actually worked better than a plane as far as coverage, but it just didn't actually do enough acres fast enough is what I needed it to do. Some of my farmer friends, I started using them. So I started looking up different drones and how many acres they can do in a day and how efficient they are and then the cost of them. So I had a guy come out and brought a demo with a T-50 and a J-100. He came out and flew and it didn't, and didn't have any leaves on the trees at the time. It was just bare branches. And, and it did it, it without any issues as far as hitting anything. Uh, the T-50 didn't quite do it as good as this drone did. And that's why I went with this one. Uh, I know the T-50 is a good drone and it works real on some other things, but I think for pecans, I think this J100 is going to, or on trees anyways, this J100 is going to outperform. So yeah, yesterday was my first day using it. Um, uh, Dakota showed up and he brought a drone with him as well. So I told him today, I don't really care about covering acres as much as just learning how to fly it. And that's what we did. Uh, it took us really about half a day to kind of get through the stuff. We unpacked it, went through the controls, uh, looked at different settings that we can use. We even flew it a little bit over some trees with just water to see what kind of settings might work on the pecans. And it, it took about half a day to really get that kind of down. And then we started flying it. And I'm not saying we didn't have any issues, but we kind of got the bugs worked out as anything new. You know, my ground rigs, they do so much volume of water, the coverage is, I, I don't think we'll ever be able to beat that coverage um, because it's using such big air blast uh, up in there. But uh, I definitely see it taking the place of my airplane uh, very easily. You're going to go spend 30,000 on a sprayer uh, to go spray your pasture. I would buy a drone before I would do that. I'm planning on buying another one next year. Uh, I just want to get used to this one first. and to make sure this is exactly what I need and what I want. Uh, the guys who I probably wouldn't recommend it to are the guys that have 30 acres. 
Uh, probably just go hire that done. But the guys who have, you know, 500 acres, 400, even maybe even 300 acres, if you go spray your own pasture, 300, and you're going to spend 30 grand on a sprayer anyways, you might as well buy one of these. So that's my personal opinion. These don't take any fuel. Yeah, we're, we're on the ground rigs, we're burning 100 gallons a day each each machine. So that's 400 gallons a day that we're burning um, a fuel every day. So we add that up and man, the drone sure is cheap. <laughs>